The History of Mathematics, Mathematics in Ancient Egypt. The dictionary defines mathematics as the science of number, quantity and space. The Egyptians established many of these mathematical aspects many centuries ago. Some of the most prominent of these systems were time, including calendars, number, including counting, and geometry. Each of these mathematical processes were based around the numerical system developed around 2000 BC. This system was numerical hieroglyphs. As seen in this image, each of the pictures represent a number group. The single stroke represents one, the heel bone represents ten, and so on. For an example, the number 25 in Egyptian hieroglyphs is or 360 is written or the number 100,421 is written differently with a different combination of the hieroglyphs. This numerical system is extremely interesting and useful, especially considering how long ago it was used. Furthermore, the Egyptians created many other interesting and useful mathematic processes, one being based around the number 12. As we know, the number 12 is used in modern day in many ways, 12 hours in a day, 12 months in a year, and so on. The Egyptians used this thousands of years ago, and the concept of 12 being an important number came from counting on one's fingers. The Egyptians used the knuckles on the fingers on one hand to count the months of a year. This idea still works now. For example, on this image, January, February, March, all on one finger using those knuckles, and so on. The next part of this presentation will be based around this concept of counting knuckles, and it will be to show students how counting on the knuckles can actually help memorize the number of days in each month. Now, as shown, the focal subject area would be mathematics, specifically measurement. The curriculum connection would be level two based around the curriculum unit ACMMG040. The objective of this lesson would be to introduce the idea of using hands and knuckles to count the months. Students would understand that this idea came from the ancient Egyptians, that they used these kinds of methods for the same kinds of processes. The lesson would begin by asking students leading questions, such as, what is a month? How many months are there in one year? The teacher would also ask the class, how many days are in a month? Which months have more days? The class would then have an opportunity to discuss this. The teacher would then ask the children if they ever use things to help them count. The students might say, blocks or their fingers. The teacher would then ask the class, did you know that ancient Egyptians actually used their fingers to count? The teacher would explain that they had a calendar similar to ours and that they also had 12 months in their year. This was based on the fact that there are 12 knuckles on the fingers of each hand. So this was important to the ancient Egyptians. What is interesting is that there is a way to use your hands and to count the number of days in each month similar to how the Egyptians did. The teacher would then show this image and explain that each knuckle and each space each represent a month. The knuckles, or the higher part, have a higher number of days. The spaces, or the lower parts, have a lower number of days. So this means that a knuckle is 31 days and in between each knuckle is 30 days other than February. The teacher would then demonstrate on her own hands, speaking aloud in a similar way as follows. January is the first knuckle, so it's 31 days. Then if we go along, February is down and is the only month with 28 days. March is up and has 31 days again. April is down and has 30. May up has 31 and June is down, so June has 30 and so on. This learning activity is a great way to teach students about both an interesting historical mathematical fact and a way of listing and memorising the months of the year. As seen through this presentation, mathematics has strong connections to history 
and history actually enhances the learning in this area. It is so important for teachers to be aware of the context of the combination of mathematics and history and how it can be applied in the classroom.